Dorchester was built by Robert Stevenson and Company of Newcastle upon Tyne for the first modern railway in Canada, the Champlain and St Lawrence Railroad. The Champlain and St Lawrence received its charter in 1832 to build a railway pretty much in a straight line from La Prairie on the St Lawrence River to saint jean sur richelieu on the Richelieu River. A steamboat service was also operated in conjunction with the railway between Montreal and La Prairie beginning in 1835. Its first vessel was named Princess Victoria after the future Queen. Construction work on the railway began in 1835. The line was laid to standard gauge using rails formed from 6 inch square lengths of pitch pine timber topped with a wrought iron strap rail, two and a half inches wide and half an inch thick, secured with iron screws. The sleepers were made from cedar. Dorchester was ordered from Robert Stevenson on the 26th of October 1835 as order number 127. The order reads, There are three curves on the road, all the same radius, 1,890 feet. The engine will travel 14.5 miles, and it is desirable, though not necessary, that it should stop for water. The steepest grade is 24 feet per mile. This occurs on various parts of the road, in all about 3 miles, the remaining 11.5 miles from level to 18 feet per mile. It is also desirable that the height of the chimney be the least possible, on account of the numerous bridges crossing the railway. The engine should draw 30 tonnes at the rate of 15 miles per hour, and must on no account exceed six tons weight, but hope it will fall considerably short of this. The lightness is a great object, and must be constructed accordingly. The wrought iron boiler barrel was six feet six inches long, and two feet three inches diameter, and it contained sixty-four or sixty-five, depending on which page of the Ort Stevenson order book you read, brass tubes, one and five eight inches outside the diameter. The firebox wrapper added two feet to the length of the boiler, and the smoke box was also two feet long. The inside cylinders measured nine by fourteen inches, and the four wooden driving wheels were four feet in diameter, and set at four foot three inch centres, in order to accommodate the very tight curves. Weight in working order was one hundred twelve hundred weight nineteen pounds, and the tender could carry three hundred and seventy gallons of water. Dorchester was shipped from Liverpool in March 1836 and arrived in Canada in May. Four passenger carriages were built in New York and the freight wagons were built locally in Canada. The Champlain and St Lawrence was opened on the 21st of July 1836 in the presence of Lord Gosford, the Governor General. An early traveller on the line in 1842 was the novelist Charles Dickens. In 1849, Dorchester was sold to the St. Lawrence and Industry Railroad, where it worked for a further 15 years. But in 1864, she, quote, jumped the track near the village of St. Thomas and romped off into the woods and was badly smashed up, end quote. Happily, the locomotive was recovered and then put to work as a stationary engine, working a sawmill until about 1890. All that survives of Dorchester is a single brass nameplate, which was found in a wood near St Thomas. A full-size wooden replica was built in 1936 to mark the centenary of Canadian Railways, but for some inexplicable reason, it was built without outside coupling rods. It is today on display at Expo Rail, Canada's National Railway Museum. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have please leave a comment below and please also like, share and subscribe and click the notification bell. I'd also like to thank my supporters on Patreon and Ko-fi whose generosity helps keep Rail Story producing the content you all enjoy. And see you all next time on Rail Story.